a self-proclaimed son of God and convicted criminal. Anyways, please have a great day. This is Jesse Commode. Jesse Commode claimed to live life in the fast lane. Yesterday, it came to an abrupt end. We always try and resolve all incidents we go to with the least amount of force. Armed with a knife, the 24-year-old entered Ipswich train station's underground platform around 4 o'clock, threatening members of the public. When police turned up, he turned on them, lunging at three officers. During that confrontation, which was very brief, the male person was shot by police. Commode had a troubled past. In 2015, he held up a Goodner Hotel at gunpoint. Seven News can reveal yesterday's rampage started at Redbank train station two hours before he was shot. Preaching about that he was the Messiah, he's God. Um, don't play his games, um, the day's coming. Al Phoenix was dropping off a friend but fled when Commode came after them. This guy was confronting us from over the fence, um, very erratic, uh, he looked like he was high as a kite to tell you the truth. It's believed he then caught the train to Ipswich where he cornered a group of strangers in a nearby car park around 3.15. Telling us to stop playing his games and that um, he was a Holy Spirit, uh, he was on something. Um, then he's gone into his jacket pocket and he's wielded out a knife and he started to threaten all of us with it. An hour later, he was dead. Investigators will review any vision from Queensland Rail CCTV and police body-worn cameras to give them the clearest picture possible of exactly how those final moments on the platform played out. The officers involved returned to the scene this morning, one by one walking detectives through the station, recreating the fatal standoff. It is something they will probably never ever recover from. A split second decision in the line of duty. And Mac Lyon, you've spoken to loved ones of the shooting victim. Yeah, Sharon, Jesse's devastated family have asked for privacy as they grieve. But his former girlfriend has written a statement to Seven News describing the Jesse she knew as a man of God who would want the world to know that and also that he loved his family more than anything. Now, as they come to terms with their loss tonight, the Ipswich train station does remain a crime scene.